I was listening to an audio by John Maxwell about leadership and about personal growth. And on that audio, John made a statement. He said, as you're wrapping up 2013, or wrapping up the year, rather, you should have a plan for personal growth. Because I immediately thought, sounds like a great idea. In fact, when it comes to setting plans and New Year's resolutions, I'm the man for the job. However, unfortunately, every single year that I've set New Year's resolutions and plans, I fell flat. I fell short every single year because I never had a good system for keeping track of my New Year resolutions and achieving my goals. So immediately after I finished the audio, I went on to Google and I started researching goal setting app apps. So I said, hey, there's got to be an app to help make me more productive, to help me better reach my goals. So I've been reviewing several applications for Android, iOS, et cetera. I ran across one called the Habit Tracker. And I have to say, two things immediately stood out about the Habit Tracker app. One was there was a book slide. The whole philosophy for the Habit Tracker app is contained in a 254-page book. And I said, hey, if they believe enough in their product to actually have a book about the philosophy, Probably a pretty good app. So I started reading the app. Then also, I went on their website and did some more research and I found out they actually have a four week habit factor challenge to help you be more accountable with your goals and keep your goals a little bit faster. So I said, hey, sign me up for that. So today I want to share with you a little bit about my experience with the habit factor. And I'm going to use an acronym. You guys, as I've heard this before, you know I love acronyms. So I'm going to use the acronym HABIT to explain my team. The H stands for the Habit Factor app. It's an amazing application. I actually use the one that's on my Kindle. Very simple to use application. I like the fact that it makes me way more productive in under five minutes a day of using the app. Habits are essential, and the Habit Factor itself, the way it's set up, it shows you how to properly align your goals with the habits that are required to achieve those goals. And personally, one of the mistakes that I made early on was I would always set a goal and I would immediately look for the actions to do, but those actions, I never really created habits for those actions. I was just randomly <coughs> actions trying to achieve my goals, and eventually I would run out of steam. Where in the book, it talks about the proper alignment of your goals and your habits. So next, the A part of our stands for accountability. The thing I love about the Habit Factor Challenge, one of the reasons why I signed up for it, is because it's a four-week accountability process for achieving my goals. And I have to admit, there were several nights that I was up well past midnight working to hit my daily habits because I knew that I had to be accountable to turn in my results for that goal. So I would take the time and I would do my habit and I would submit my results, regardless of what it took. The accountability factor is crucial. I mean, I've heard it said before from other people talking about their goal setting and how having somebody that they can be accountable to, whether it's a friend, or it's a peer, maybe it's a mentor, it helps you remember what you're trying to accomplish and stay focused on it. The next letter is D. The late Dr. Stephen Cutton, in his book, Seven Habits of Highly, successful, highly effective people. Habit number two is begin with the end in mind. So that's what the B for my acronym stands for. Begin with the end in mind. And essentially what that means is when it comes to the goal factor application, the habit factor application is you look at your goals as if they've already been achieved. And so you align your goals as if they've already been achieved and then you work backwards with those habits that were necessary to achieve that goal. For example, John Maxwell has written over 50 books on leadership and personal growth over the years. And a lot of people ask him, they say, John, we want to be able to write books like you. How do you do it? Well, here are the five habits that he does on a daily basis. He said, I read every day. He said, I file every day. He thinks every day. He writes every day. And he takes the time to learn or ask questions every single day. He said, I don't do them all day long, but I do them every single day, no matter what. No matter what's going on, whether it's a holiday.
holiday or birthday and event, he said, I still do it. I make sure I do it every single day. And that's when he bring over 50 books in his lifetime. The I for the acronym stands for inspiration. One of the cool things about the Habit Factor app is when you're setting up your goals, there's a section on there where the author recommends that for every goal you establish, list your reasons why that goal is important. And in addition, every habit that you set up in that application also lists the reason why. And as the late Tim Rohn said, if you have enough reasons, you can accomplish anything. And Rod Savage, in the book, The Habit Factor, he talked a little bit about how if you have a big enough reason why, you'll automatically discover your how. It's very crucial. And I know for me personally, I'm very visually motivated. One of the things that I did was I actually created a, a video of images and quotes to help me remember what I'm trying to accomplish with my, my goal for 2014. And it's been very effective. I mean, I watch my video two times a day. It's one of the habits that I've established. And it constantly reminds me of what I'm looking to accomplish. And so if there's ever a reason that I don't want to do it, I can look at my reasons why and I follow through with it. The last letter is T. The T stands for track. The author of the habit factor, Martin says, in this book, he says, he says, we don't get what we want. He says you get what you track. And the cool thing about the habit factor is they make it very simple for you to track your habits on a daily basis. And in fact, I am able to open up my Kindle and track my habits much faster than it takes me to open up Excel on my PC. Easy to do. And the cool thing about the habit, tracking your habits on the habit tracker app, is that there's no space for excuses. There's no option at all. Either you did it or you didn't do it. It's as simple as that. And I love that about it because it is takes all the guesswork. I know in the past I've tried to use Excel and I write notes, well, this is why I didn't do this today. This happened at work, and so I got busy doing this. No. Habit Factor app doesn't care about all that. Just track your results and then you can look at your reports later on. Powerful application, very simple to use. So let's imagine now that it's December 31st, 2014. All year long, you've been aggressively tracking your habits, steps your habits towards achieving your goals. And you can look back over all the goals that you've when people ask you, hey, how are you able to accomplish that? How are you able to run that marathon? How are you able to write that book? How are you able to win that 